Hi all, in this video we are going to see about AppLock app. How to protect all our apps. So we, in that situation we uh, will go for locking the app before we enter into that particular uh, app. So let us see how the, our app lock software works. So I am just opening the app lock for a first time. So what is the kind of a lock type I am going to provide. For example, I will go for pattern kind of things or by providing the pin. So I am just setting up of the thing. So it asks for whether it is a pattern or pin. So I am just selecting pattern. So it asks for a pattern. I am just providing it as this is the pattern I am going to fix it out. So it asks for the confirmation of the pattern. So it asks to draw the pattern again. So it asks for the permission to access all our installed apps. So I'm just going for yes to give the permissions to access the package names. Now I am permitting the usage access. Just closing it. So you can see now all the apps installed in these mobiles are listed over here. And it shows all are unlocked. Now I am going to lock this particular calculator app I am just clicking on it so we change it to lock I am pressing ok button so there is nothing but tick mark here I am just going to press it out. so now I have saved this particular app to locked and I just closed it so if I want to change any pattern also I can go to settings I can change pattern or pin now let us check whether our app lock works I just minimize the all the thing I try to open the calculator so before opening up the calculator it asks for the pattern so I am just providing some random pattern for it so it creates an error so I am giving the accurate pattern for it now you are able to access the calculator. So this is what our app we are going to see. Okay. Now I am just opening the app lock once again. So it asks for the pattern. I am entering into. Now I am going to settings. I'm going to change the pin. So I'm going to input the pin and let us make it as one, two, three, and four. So it asks for a input again. So one, two, three, four. So our pin is almost set. Now I am just pressing home button to close it. Now I am opening the calculator once again. Before we got, we got a pattern kind of thing. Now we change the settings. So we are getting the pin over here. I am just providing a 1234 pin. Now it app got opened calculator app. Similar way you can lock any apps or you can unlock the app. Now I'm going to unlock the calculator, entering into the app. So I'm just unlocking it, just by clicking unlocking it. Cal calendar, now I'm going to lock, same way I'm going to lock Chrome. So I'm going to press this OK. Now I'm minimizing the app. I'm going to open the calculator now, there is no. 
lock is there i'm going to open the chrome so you can see that there is a lock is available since we provided the app lock for this now after entering in the pad pin now entering into the google chrome so similar way you can lock any software any thing using this app lock software okay in the further videos we can see how to develop this app lock software thank you hi in this video we are going to see how to create an app block software which is to protect our application so let us start a new project let us name it as app block so just I'm pressing here that is a company domain let us make it as com.learning then project location is G drive app block so I'm going next so let us select API 21 lollipop version which supports that material design over there so let us go for next let us select empty activity so now I'm giving a main activity so let us make it as finish So now the app is uh, getting ready. It takes some time to build a gradle. Now uh, our app is ready. Let us quickly walk through our app folders. So there will be two things, one is app folder and another one is a Gradle file which helps to uh, include many modules over here. So in the app folder there is a manifest file so which is the main configuration entry point for any Android application. Then there is a Java file. So in that Java there is a main activity file which extends app compact activity then let us go for resource folder generated java files are automatically generated and the testing files if we want any testing purpose to be done that is written the in this particular testing part in resource folder there is a drawable which contains all the image resources and then layout file which contains all the ua designs over there right now we are having activity underscore main dot xml next one is a mip map which contains eyes launcher icons and values the colors of the application will be shown over here and the description whatever the text we are using in the app that will be configured here and the style of our app so next one is a cradle so in the project cradle normally we will have the Cradle details in the module Cradle. So this is the app Cradle where we whatever we mentioned it is 21. That means that we are using a lollipop and we are using the package name as learning.com dot app lock and target SDK. I am using it as 28 and these are the default libraries we are using. So first of all, let us run the application. So I'm choosing Nexus 5 emulator. I'm running it.
now our emulator is running and the app is launching so it is a hello world app so i'm just swiping the screen so you can see our app lock is present over here let us change this icon so for that I right click on this app folder go for new image assert so th there will be uh, icon type which is a launcher icons we can go for adaptive and legacy icons normally this will uh, give an more impact in the oreo and android pi versions in in deep and legacy icons only we will have this uh, no circular things will be present over there action bar and tap icons notification icons are the different icon types let us choose launcher icons adaptive so i see launcher same thing i am going for it so i am choosing it from the panel part i am searching for a lock icon so i am selecting the lock and i am changing it to some violet color dark violet and i'm changing the background layer so let us make it as white so i want legacy type will be of circle google play store icons will be of square so i am just resizing the icon little bit okay now i am just pressing next so it is asking that it will replace all these files whatever indicated in the red color will be replaced and there is a background resource file they are adding it as white so i am finishing it let us check whether icon got changed yes all got updated so let us run the application once again it take some time to build now the app is installing you can check it here so now you can see that app icon got changed next thing let us check in the different device i'm just closing this emulator i'm going to launch a new emulator so these are all the available uh, emulators which i have configured if you want create a new emulator also you just create click on create new virtual device so i want to check on small size nexus yes so i'm just pressing on next i am going for oreo 
next let the emulator we will name it as same next is yes api level 26 that means that oreo is running so here portrait version graphics everything is automatic enable device frame so just press finish now we created a new emulator which is of type nexus yes which runs on oreo so you can create any number of emulators make sure that make sure that these emulators will occupy certain amount of ram while you are running so i'm just running it on nexus yes let us wait for our emulator to get launched so emulator is launching it takes some time depending upon the speed of the processor it goes so please be patient for and while to get loaded you can also use the real-time device to test this uh, application for real-time devices for using the real-time devices we want to enable the USB debugging mode in the developer option and then we want to connect it connect the device via USB cable and you can run the application directly once it got enabled now device got loaded app is installing So the application is now opening. Our new app icon appears over here. Okay, let us quickly walk through the generated codes. I am just going for resource layout in that layout XML file where that hello world will come. So here they have used constraint layout. So and then in the center part they have designed for hello world. So let us delete this text view. Now I am making this constant layout to relative layout. So which is uh, easier for smaller layout designs and all. So let us go to this main activity. So here it it extends the app compact activity and on create method is a override method what is automatically created and here I am just linking that activity with the XML this line so these are all automatically generated code so now we want to go for manifest file here the descriptions are applications and the application will have the label as app name and we are having an activity called as a main activity and that is the launcher activity so in the next session let us see how to get the permissions and how to get the list of apps that your your mobile phones have thanks for watching hi all last video we seen we have seen that how to create a project for this app lock okay this we have finished it okay now we are entering into this getting and showing the list of apps that are installed in our mobile okay so for this okay let us start with uh, this main activity so normally this main activity extends app compact activity and the in the life cycle of the app automatically which has an on create function so in that on create function we are having that main layout so i'm just moving to that main layout so this is of relative layout 
okay now i am going to add a recycler view so recycler view is not there so we want to add those libraries here now i am going to right click on this app i am going for module settings in that i am going for dependencies i am going to add plus library dependencies I want a package called as in com dot android dot support colon recycler view. So I'm going to add this recycler view here. Similarly, I want to add card view. why I am searching and adding means we will have what are the updated things are there sorry here we want to add colon okay so then another one thing is the design same way I want to go for support I want to go for design so here it is just adding it since I'm going for some material kind of things and all we are going means that design is more important. So I'm just pressing on OK. So it takes some time to uh, synchronize the cradle. So once it is ready, we can use that in our main activity dot add recycler view. So recycler view, I'm going to add it as match parent. And then this is also it is also match parent I'm going for. Here I want to have that OK button. So let us go for floating action button. So that should be of wrap content and wrap content. Okay. So instead of relative layout, I'm going for frame layout. And then this to be of uh, gravity, layout gravity of bottom end so i'm going to give it as margin give it as 16 let us uh, so i'm right clicking on the app i'm going to new vector asset i'm going to search for an icon the clip art i'm going to press it as then i'm going to use this then I want it in and no problem I'm just making it as next I'm going to rename I want to rename it so I'm just doing for next finish so I'm going to give it over here so it search is equal to uh, trouble done so now almost this button is okay now I want to change the color of the tick mark so I'm going for Tent, which is of uh, white make it as uh, I want to create this white so it's of hasier. so now you got there is now I want background tint to be tint to be of uh, scent. Let us make it as thirty. So let us make it as little bit bigger. Let us give as padding of sixteen. Okay. So now we make it as. Let's run and see how it looks like. Now you can see that our fab button is ready and recycler view, which is not having any data right now. Okay. Now let us make this, uh, let us create ID for it. 
so it makes app a list and this id let us make it as okay but so let us create an object for those things in our main activity to create an object so let us make it as global for my easy reference i am using the same name as i used for there so app list and i am going to go for floating action button floating action button let us make it as okay btn now app list equal to find v by id r dot id dot app list then i am going to go for floating button so ok button equal to find view by id r dot id dot ok button now created an object for recycler view and the floating action button now our recycler view is ready the another thing we want to do is now i want a card to be ready so for that i am just going for resource file i am going for layout file i am going to add new resource file so here i am going to give app card let us make it as uh, app cards card i'm going to create on card card view so let us make it as card card view i'm going to create on card view so in that card view i'm going to have one linear layout which is of uh, match parent and this is height is of wrap content normally here so this is of wrap content so here height is of wrap content so i'm going to uh, split this i'm going to give and wait for it so i'm just going to give wait sum as 5 because i'm going to now uh, split the screen into three divisions one is for showing the app logo second one is for the description of the app or app name or a package name next one is for showing whether it is log status or not so i'm going to create one image view so normally this width is of wrap content and this is of wrap content so id let us make it as app logo and i am going to create one text view so which is of with is of let us make it as wrap content initially this is of id app name now I'm going to create app status for that. I'm going to create one more image view. So this is of wrap content and I'm going to give it a IDS app status. App status. Okay. So with this wait time I'm going to split it as three parts. So I'm going to give as weight as one and this is of another one and I'm going to give it as three. So this will be of three because uh, the title will be a little bit big. Okay, let us go for a design. So we added those things and all for checking. Let us have dummy data for it. So SRC equal to let us make it 
this IC map map IC launcher. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to use it here. And for testing, I'm going to give text as. I'm going to set Android gravity as center vertical and I'm going to make text style as bold so text style as bold so now you can see how it looks like so here the app icon will come here the lock or unlock status will come so we want to have the icon for this okay hi now we initially designed a rough card so we want to include those cards in the recycler view by getting all the app names okay let us work on that i'm going to create one new java class so which is of app info so let us make this model as app info so I'm going to give a string this of package package name and string I want app name this means app apps name and I want to have drawable this is of app logo then I'm going to add status so boolean app status so now I added all those things simply if we want to create a model means we want to make a getter and setter method which is much easier you just press on alt insert it will create an getter and setter method for you so i'm going to select all i'm going to press so now all getter and setter methods are ready now same way i'm pressing all. so now i'm going to click on alt insert to add equals method so which is also available here i'm going to press next and i only want the package name to be checked so remaining is not needed so i'm going to give hash code i don't want anything so i'm going to finish it so now almost this app info is ready so with this we want to get all the apps details and we want to add it to this model and i want to get through the recycler view so what is the interface for that let us for that we want to create one adapter so I'm going to create new class so which is of uh, app list adapter so which extends recycler view dot adapter so here normally we go for view holder kind of things so for easy reference so i'm going to go going to give it as view holder so so i'm going to create a view holder and i want to implement the methods and i'm going to make this to extend Recycler view view holder. Here I want to get a super. So now I generated an uh, recycler view adapter. So in this we want to write all the details. Okay. Now, so here in the recycler view we will have a list of data. So that data we want to get it and pass it to this particular recycler view for that we are in need of adapter this adapter 
will get the input of list of apps detail and then it will provide it to the recycler view with all the views implemented so for that we want to create one more constructor for it so app list adapter so this normally receives a list of app info that means app infos let us make it as app infos so i want to get this over here so i'm going to create one more variable for it so list of app info let us make it as app list so this dot app list equal to app infos no so in this view, view holder normally we used to create all the objects for that particular car now i am going to create the objects for the card we what we have designed so for that i'm going to create image view and have a logo comma app app status and similarly for text view so here i want to give app name equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot app name so app status equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot if you have any doubts you can refer it here we used card so whatever the names id we gave here i am using the same in this file so app logo equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot app logo so now view holder is ready so in the get item count normally we give it as app plus dot size so how many size of app infos are there that many cards will be created so so now we are going to introduce another one variable for context accessing the layouts and all so context want to check in this on week holder so if context equal to equal to null then kind of assign the context equal to view group dot get context and the context is ready now i'm going to create one view so this is to get the layout file to our adapter so layout inflator i'm going to use dot from context so dot inflate so you can choose this because view group is there so resource is r dot layout dot i want to give it as card and view group as view group and attach a root i'm going to give it as false so now the view is ready and i want to pass this view to the view holder so that it access all the object over there so i'm going to create on view holder object view holder equal to now i am going to create a new object for it so new view holder of 
I'm going to give it as view. So now the view folder is ready. I'm going to the view holder object. Okay. Now on bind view holder. So here, once a view holder is connected, what are the things to be done? So I want to load the data into the this object what we have did. So let us give give it as view holder dot app logo dot so this is of set image drawable i'm going to pass a drawable over here so which is nothing but app list of i dot dot get i dot app logo so similar way i want to get it for view holder dot app name dot set set text is equal to app list dot get i dot app name so now for app status i am going to check if app list of sorry app list dot get i dot app status which means that it is true if it is true i want to set beholder dot app status dot set image drawable i want to pass the drawable id over here right now i'm just passing r dot map dot dc launch sorry this is not drawable i want to get it as set image resource because we are getting it from resource so get image resource else I want to have view holder dot app status dot set image resources r dot let us make it as launcher because we didn't have that logo let us get it ready so I'm going for right clicking it I want to search for that lock or unlock thing so I'm going to search in this I want lock so lock is here we can use this as lock so let's make it as lock so if it is status is yes then I want to make it as drawable lock Probable lock for unlock so so you can use this unlock unlock but if we want we can use the same okay let us use it here as same so lock open So I'm going to make it as drawable. I see lock open. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going for this. I see lock. So let us make this lock as secured. So let us make it to green. Let us make it to green. Just so far dark. So this is of green and similar way for open and let us make it as red. 
so if it is green means locked if it is open means then it is in unlocked state so this is what uh, thing is so let us go for it for adapter so open lock is there so app logo we already set and name also we already set so view holder is ready so now we got all the details in the next video let us see how to get the package name and we want to store it in this list and we want to pass that list to end this adapter this adapter is almost ready to show the app list over here thank you hi all last video we just uh, gone through this list adapter so now let us see how to get the app details from the mobile and we list it in the recycler view using this app list adapter okay now we are supposed to provide list of app info to this particular adapter so that it will get viewed over here okay let us go to this main activity we want to store it in the package manager let us make one object over here as package manager equal to get package manager so now i'm going to get the package manager here so for getting the package managers i'm going to go for from this package manager i want to get all the activities so i'm going to create one intent for it equal to new intent of so i created a new intent and then i want to get all the intents dot set action equal to intent dot action main and i'm going to do it as intent add category so intent dot category launcher what are the launcher activities available here i'm going to get it out so make it as intent dot category okay now from the package manager dot i'm going to query the intent so i'm going to query intent activities so this means that what are the intents which has a main as action and category as launcher will be displayed over here so i'm going to pass this intent and then i'm going to pass it is zero so by default so this will be returning the intent activities so here you can see that it is of list resolve info so we want to create the object for it so list resolve info equal to so result equal to home apps so this is of all mobile apps here so here i am getting all the activities that are having the main intent as action and also the category as launcher now i am going to create one list of app info to get all the details into it so let us make it as apps equal to i'm going to make it as new array list of since we created in the adapter it is a list of app info so i am creating an object for it now 
I'm going to use this for each and every resolve info. from home apps so I'm going to get each and every resolve info from that resolve info I'm going to get app info object so app info equal to new app info of so now we are going to get all the details from the this info and we am going to store it in this particular app info and I'm going to add this to an apps and then I'm going to pass it to an adapter. So this is what we are going to do. So app info dot. I'm going to set app logo for it. So how to get an app 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 logo? So info dot activity info. So I'm going to get the activity. From that activity, I'm going to get. load icon so i'm going to get the icon from it so load icon so i want to pass the package manager so package manager is nothing but so next app info dot set package name so package name is nothing but info dot activity info dot package so similar way app info dot set app name so info dot activity info dot load label so load label from the package manager so it is nothing but package manager so what is this so this is of character sequence i want to convert it to a string so better we cast it so now it is converted to string and it is stored in the app info now i'm going to add this apps dot add i'm going to add this app info so now everything is added to this particular apps so next thing is that we want to create an adapter object so array list adapter is nothing but an adapter which is equal to new array list adapter of so what are the things we want to pass only this list of app info we already got this app info as apps so i'm going to pass this so apps so now i want I got this adapter. I want to set it to the recycler view. So, what is the recycler view ID? We use it as app list. So, app list dot set adapter, which is nothing but adapter. Okay. So, now we set the adapter for it before that how the recycler view should show the data so i'm going to set a layout manager for it so let us set it here so i have placed dot set layout manager so it is nothing but new linear layout manager of so I want to pass this context so it is nothing but this why I added here means this thing later we are going to use it in the service so let us take it as I'm going to make this as a method so that it is easy for using it later so I'm going to cut that I'm going to create one more function let us make it as public so void load apps app list so 
so here i'm going to pass sorry i'm going to call load app list so why we are going why we are doing like this means later we are going to use this in the service not here because we are developing an app lock software which runs at the background too so this to be added in the service part okay now let us run the program and see whether we got all the apps installed in the mobile or not so now the app lock software is running so you can see okay these icons are not in the proper alignment but we got all the app details and the local is also available okay so these are all not in the alignment and icons are also not in proper spacing okay now let us go for this adapter so this is of app card okay now i'm going to give it as view bounce as true so which makes all the logo in the proper size and i'm going to increase the padding for it so i'm let us make it as almost 16 db so same thing for locking okay so another thing is that for this we already set a weight for it so better make it as 0 db so it is easy for the things to, to go on so for text view also let us make it as 0 db because we all we set the weight for those those things so for getting the proper alignment let us go for with as 0 db so now you can see the app. so let us make app logo a little bit bigger so make it as 8 db so here view bones as 3 0 and padding as 16 so now it looks fine okay let us run and see whether it is working fine or not so it is running okay it's good so now you can see app logs over here okay so now on clicking this it should change to lock we shall write that okay in the bind view holder let us make that change so view holder dot app status dot set on click listener new on click listener of so with this we can go for it so if app status is equal to true let us make it as final and i want to set view holder as also final so if app status is true then i want to convert this to an this is for viewing now if i click on that it should change so i'm checking the app lock so i'm just converting into app open so similar way i'm just going for it anyway we are not going to use this we will change it later now for understanding i am just doing while clicking it if the app status is true i am going to make this as open that means i am swapping that and if app status is false then i am going to lock it so let us run it this is for an sample let us uh, we will change it later if we write the services and all then it will be from the activity
so we didn't change that app status thing we based upon this app status we are providing so it is locking it is not unlocking because we didn't rewrite the code So now the app is running we are changing the status and running it let us check whether it is opening or not so now it is working fine okay now one flow is completed okay so when i set this to lock i want this to be stored in the back end and it should intimate to the that app about this so we need the permission to access that particular calendar now we just got these details we are not using this statuses so if you are if you want to lock this particular app we want to get the permission so let us work on that and then we should we need to store all what are the apps got locked and what are the apps got unlocked so everything to be recorded at the backend so we want to create a database for that and we want to work on that next thing we want to write a service to run it in the background and another one is that we are supposed to create one security screen for entering the pattern as well as the pin so one setting screen is needed service and database operations to be done okay let us see it in the next video thank you hi all in this video we are going to see how to implement pattern lock to our app lock software okay so now we are going to solve the third party api for pattern lock okay let us go for browser so pattern lock GitHub. I'm going for this pattern lock view. So here, so for using the third party APIs, we want to refer the documentation, whatever they provided carefully, and we want to implement the same. Okay. So third party APIs is nothing but we, we can some of the developers will create their own uh, app and they will publish it uh, for a free access so that we can make use of those APIs and we can generate any number of applications for our easy convenience we can make use of it okay let us go into this so this will be the pattern lock view okay so initially we want to add this dependency into our Gradle file Okay, now let us go for our Gradle file. So instead of compile, let us go for implementation, which is now Google is recommending. Okay, so I included this pattern lock. Now I'm going to sync the project. Okay, so in the meanwhile, so for what we are going for this pattern lock means, actually we can ask for whether we want to go for pattern lock or pin lock so nothing but a number lock so we can make use of the two libraries here now one I, uh, I added is pattern lock so similar way I can go for number lock we can make use of the library itself So they are using it as pin lock view. So for the pin lock, they provided the API. So we can make use of this API for pin lock. 
so in the cradle file they are asking us to add for pin lock so we have to open the both the things okay so while using the APIs they will give the documentation how to use those uh, pin lock or app lock sorry pattern lock everything in our application so in our XML file we want to use this pattern lock similar way for pin lock also we want to go let us initially take our pattern lock and let us test it how it works okay now our synchronization completed so I am going to create one new activity so which is nothing but pattern activity so now I created one pattern activity so let us go for this XML file and we okay for instead of constraint layout for easy our reference you can go for frame layout so I'm going to create one text view so which will be of match parent it will be of wrap content gravity as center so so this will looks like is draw a pattern so we want to intimate the user so for that I am using this text view please draw pattern okay so margin top let us make it as 16 dB similar way for margin bottom also 16 dB okay now this will be of layout gravity center and top so now I'm going to make use of our pattern lock so pattern lock view so you can copy it from our API documentation itself so pattern lock whatever they provided I'm going to use the same so we can make use of this so that should be of center so I'm going to give it as layout gravity as center so now our pattern lock will appear here okay once again we want to add our cancel button so to cancel whether the pattern is not okay we can cancel the uh, application so for that we can go for cancel button so that should be of text cancel and that layout gravity should be of bottom and center so this will be the UI okay now let us go for this activity and let us refer our documentation whatever the things we want to add so in the reference view in the code listener we want to add this code I use the same ID okay for this view I want to create an object so I created one object so now I want to create a pattern listener so in the documentation they provided all the details so I'm just copying it and I'm going to paste it here so so you can see that in the pattern lock listener once we start the pattern it will be notifying the user that pattern has been started and progress list wherever the pattern is drawn that pattern will be shown over here once we completed the pattern that pattern completed pattern will be shown here once we pressed clear then the pattern will be automatically clear so okay so now let 
let us make this activity as a launcher activity to make that let us go for manifest file and copy this intent filter and make it in pattern activity and then run the application so now our, now our app is running on the emulator okay we are not able to see it since it uh, the pattern is also white our background is also white okay let us change that So now I provided the background as a scent. So now the text color, let us make it as white. So text size, let us make it as 18 SP. Okay. So now let us once again run our application. And let us go for logcat. Let us choose our emulator and clear it. Okay. Now the app is installing in our emulator okay now pattern is ready okay now i'm going to start drawing so you can see so it is zero three six you can see in the locket so drawing has started so six seven and eight so i'm going to stop the pattern so pattern has been completed so now pattern has been set so this is a pattern we are going to use it out okay now it is working fine okay let us use this screen later now similar way let us go for our pin going for another one activity so which will be of pin lock so i'm going to finish it out So let us go for the documentation for pin lock. Okay, you can see this pin lock view. So how it looks like. So it, it looks like this. So we can go for pin lock view. So similar way I'm going to design it as like our pattern lock so it is frame layout so i'm going to make this pin lock over here so you can see the pin lock is looking okay so this layout gravity will be of center and next thing is that another one text view and another one button we can copy and paste it from our pattern lock so okay so okay. i'm to paste it out okay similar way one button with cancel so pin lock will have cancel okay let us give same background so background as asset so now i'm seeing it so it will be off design is okay. okay now let us go for the documentation once again so for pin lock the same coding is there we will use in our pin lock activity so I'm going to paste it here so pin lock
pin lock view so i want to use the listener so as like we did it in the pattern lock so i'm just copying it and i'm going to paste it here instead of uh, tag i'm using pin lock so here the pin lock is ready now in the pin lock with this application first okay i'm going to make this pin lock activity as my launcher activity i copy the intent filter and move to it okay now let us see okay now the app is running so okay so please draw pattern okay we want to change that so i'm going for pin lock so enter pin so now i'm running it once again and let's go for this lock cat now let us now the app is running let us clear this locket and okay so just it. okay now i'm going to press one so you can see that so pin lock has been changed new length is one with intermediate pin one so i'm going to press two so now the intermediate pin is two and three and four so pin is complete so four digit pin it is one two three four okay so in the documentation in the ap documentation they also provide the customization kind of things okay because we don't know how many numbers we have pressed so for that we there is a customization document for this pin lock and let us see some more customization to the pattern lock as well as the pin lock in the next video thank you hi all okay okay we already created the project and we have shown the list of apps that are installed in our mobile and lock screen like now we have designed it for pattern lock and pin lock okay let us customize it and let us make validations and all in the lock screen okay let us go to this pin lock okay so in pin lock i am in need of uh, there is a dot so for example if i am typing one the dot will come over here as like let us go let us go for this so you can see that there is a customization option in the pin lock so let us go into it so there is an indicator dot okay let us use this indicated dot in our app so i am going to paste it okay let us create one linear layout so match parent and this is of height is of wrap content so i am going to make this as center and this orientation is vertical okay now i'm just copying this dot and also the pin lock into this right there. so this is of gravity center so we need some spacing so let us uh, have this here so margin bottom it is equal to 32 db so now you can see dots are there and we have the text of enter the pin and we have this items okay let us make this more customizable okay you can see we can let us make our use of this color customization options here so i'm going to make that text color as white pure white i 
I'm going to make the text sizes a little bit bigger. So button size also I'm just making it as delete button also. Let us make it to the same size. So to access that indicated dots, so we can copy this indicated dots over here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to attach it to our pin lock view. Go to this. So I'm going to attach this indicated dots to our pin lock view. So now you can see that the pin lock is working with the indicators. Okay. okay. To get the confirmation, we need some inputs. So let us make that one string to hold on that pin. So let us make underscore pin. Now another one boolean variable to check whether the pins are matching or not is pin equal to false. So now I am going to check on complete. So here let us make it as if so pin. So let us make it as empty over here. So it will be easy. So pin dot. I'm going to compare this. So equals. I'm going to pass the pin over here. So once I completed the pin, I'm going to check whether that pin is equal to this pin. First, we want to. So if it is not equal. So. If, the pin is mismatching so I'm going to provide a toast message pin mismatch try again so I'm making this toast as short one so let us make it as pin lock this so here when this pin is going to set means we want to have this here. So if is pin confirm equal to true, that means that if the confirmation pin is entered. So otherwise, so else path, I'm going to assign the pin to pin. So while coming to the initial stage, so it will ask for the pin. So initially it is false. So it comes over here and it assigns okay now let us make is confirm equal to true so second time it comes over here and it checks whether the pin is right or equals or not if it equals then we are going to result okay so now the pin is okay so i am setting the result okay and i am going to finish this activity okay so same way here if pin mismatches so we want m indicators dot set pin length equal to zero so this means that now i clear the indicator so the pin is wrong so i am once again i'm setting this is pin equal to false okay so stop so if it pin lock view also i want to reset it up so i am using pin lock view dot reset pin lock view so once it is set okay now while we are going for confirmation pin we want to change the text as confirm pin right so let us go for that object so i am going for activity so I am going to give an ID for this ID as the enter pin. Now I am going to create an object for it text view. Enter pin. Text view. I am going to give it as 
now assign the enter pin first time i am setting it means so i want to make it as so enter pin dot set text confirm pin so if i enter into this i'm going to make it as enter pin. so this result is okay and uh, now almost if i am mismatching to this it will show the toast and it will make it as enter pin so otherwise it will make it as confirm pin here also i want to set the length and indicators so now i am running the application let us check how it works so an app is crashing okay yeah so this is because of this indicated dots okay let us uh, do some updates here so i am not going to attach the indicated dots here so i am just making that to zero that means that while typing the indicator will be shown so so on empty i am going to make the pin length as zero that means that nothing will be shown to the user so if there is a pin change i am going to make it to pin length so now i am running the application now i am opening the thing so nothing is shown over here i am pressing one two three and four so it is asking for confirmation pin i am pressing some so mismatch pin try again okay now i am going to give the same pin one two three four so one two three and four so now the app got closed because we have written the finish over here the cancel button so i'm going to make it as ideas cancel so i'm going to create an object for it so one function so i'm writing directly find view by id r dot id dot cancel set on click listener so i'm going to make it as new on click listener off set a result result dot cancel so now we are not using this this will be used later because when we confirmed the pin that should intimate the activity that it got confirmed and if when i cancel it it should close okay let us do the same thing for the pattern lock so i'm pattern lock activity so as we did here i want to create a string and this pin confirm okay now let us make this as pattern now as we did there let us make it here so on complete so i'm going to make if is pin confirm so it is nothing but pattern confirm so is pattern confirm then else i want to do so here we can get the pattern so i am copying the code i am using it here so if so underscore pattern dot equal to let us make it as equals i'm going to paste it here so this means when i get the pattern i will check it else okay let us go to this pin lock same what we did over here so same toast mismatch pattern try again 
and is confirm equal to false okay I'm just copying this this is nothing but pattern activity so let me make it as pattern mismatch so try again so here i want to make is pattern confirm equal to false and i want to reset the pattern so m pattern view dot dot clear pattern so whatever i do that clear pattern should execute so better we make it as here So here also here it will come come as true and here I will set that pattern pattern equal to say what we already used so both patterns are equal then we will make it as set result as okay and go for this let us make this also false here also i want to have the objects for cancel button and the text view let me make use of the same thing so let us go for this activity and this button is of ID pattern cancel and this text view as draw pattern. Let us make it as pattern label. Pattern label. Now I am going for pattern activity. So this will be of text view pattern label and so pattern dot label pattern underscore label dot sorry equal to find view by id r dot id dot pattern label so i'm going to make it as pattern label okay now i'm going to check confirm pattern dot set text confirm pattern so it is almost set okay if i if i press cancel button so find view by id r dot id dot pattern cancel dot set on click listeners new on click listener off so it is nothing but what we used over here. Oh, we forget to write finish. So we can use the same here. Okay, now let us make this activity as a launcher activity and run whether it works or not. So I'm running the application. The app is running. Okay, before that, we forgot one more thing. Okay, here if a pattern is mismatches, I want to have this text as please draw pattern. Okay, now once again we run that. So now I'm going to draw the pattern. So this is my pattern. So now it got clear. So it asks for confirm pattern. So I am drawing some other pattern. So mismatch, please draw pattern. Okay. Now I'm going to draw this pattern. I'm going to confirm this pattern. So the app will close this. Okay. So now our lock screen is almost done. Okay. In the next video, let us see how to form the database operations for storing the locked applications over there. Okay, thank you.